Ring, the company known for its video doorbells, cameras, smart home lighting, and overall security, has just launched a brand new Ring Alarm wireless home security system. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com for Best Buy Canada's blog, and the original Ring Alarm was meant as an easy way to DIY your home security and give you the option of monitoring too for an extra fee. So what's new with Ring Alarm Generation 2? I received the eight-piece starter kit to install in my home and test out, so let's dig in. And an early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and give us a sub, because it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. The most noticeable difference between old and new is that much of the new Ring Alarm system has a new look. The new keypad is about a third smaller, and the sensors are also slimmer and lower in profile. The base station looks the same. Though things do look a little different, Ring has made sure that the original components are still compatible with the new Generation 2 alarm. You should be able to add the original door and window and motion sensors, but it might not be that easy for you. I'll explain in a little bit. So what do you get in the box? Ring Alarm comes with the base station, which is the brains for your system. Plus, it's what emits the audible siren and door open alerts, so you want it to be located somewhere you can hear it. You also get the new keypad, which you can use to arm and disarm the system. You can wall mount this, and it also works as a portable remote control too, thanks to its sliding bracket, meaning you can bring it wherever you are. Depending on which kit you opt for, you'll have a different amount of sensors. I had the eight-piece pack, so I got four magnetic door or window sensors, one motion detector, and a Wi-Fi booster. Additional contact sensors, motion detectors, keypads, or range extenders can all be purchased separately to expand the coverage of your system. These will connect with the base station at your home to protect your entire property. Ring's setup process was easy. You'll get the base station set up first, and then the app is going to recognize your kit, and it'll tee up all of your components for you to set up. You just need to follow the prompts. I used that method for a few of my components, and then I dumped out and tried using the manual setup option, which also worked just fine. Now, if this is your first Ring device, you'll have a few extra steps, like creating an account and adding your home's Wi-Fi network. But if you have other Ring devices, the app will recognize your settings, making the setup really speedy. Next, it's time to start adding your components. You'll do them one by one, and it takes about 30 seconds or so each. You should be able to add original ring alarm door and window sensors plus older motion detectors to your new setup, but for me I wasn't able to do this on my own. The ring app didn't seem to see those original components any longer. After trying to deal with it and fix it myself, I finally called Ring's customer service department where I did get fast and really good help, I'm glad to say. It turns out that you need to essentially unpair those older sensors from your old base station, but the good news is that it's quick and easy once you know what to do. You can call Ring and they'll walk you through it, or here's the step-by-step -step process. First, remove the battery from your old door or motion sensor, but keep it handy because you'll need it quickly. Next, go to the Ring app and choose the hamburger menu in the top left. Choose Devices, select Alarm Base Station, and then choose Base Station again. Choose the gear icon in the top right, select Advanced Options, choose Z-Wave, click Remove Z-Wave Device, then hit Remove. When the app says searching, pop the battery back in quickly. Give it a sec and it should see the device and then add it to the app for you. I was successfully able to add two old sensors this way. The door and window sensors come with an adhesive backing so you can peel and stick them easily. You can also use screws or nails if you prefer. The motion sensors can be wall mounted or placed on a shelf or a piece of furniture. The whole kit is actually quite versatile. You can monitor your alarm system yourself and not worry about extra fees, but if you do want that added peace of mind that comes with the alarm's security response, you can sign up for Ring's professional monitoring service. Monitoring costs about $10 US per month or $100 for the year, and Ring says its professional monitoring is available in the US and in Canada, but excluding Quebec. One of the selling features of Ring Alarm is that it connects automatically and is designed to work seamlessly with Ring indoor and outdoor cameras and video doorbells. In the Ring app, you can configure your setup so that if the alarm is tripped, your cameras can all begin recording or your Ring smart lights can all turn on. 
Using the alarm is simple enough. There are three settings. There's disarmed, which is off. There's home and away. With home, only the door sensors uh, or the window sensors, I guess, or certain other ones that you choose would be triggered. Using the away mode, the entire system, including the motion sensors, is armed. You can easily arm and disarm your system with the free ring app on your smartphone. You can also use the keypad if you're indoors and not near your phone or your tablet. The ring alarm works with Alexa, so you can control your system with just your voice. You can say, hey, arm ring when you go to head out and your digital assistant will take care of business for you. While the base station uses AC power to stay connected 24 seven, there's also a backup battery in case your power lines are down or cut. The keypad has a micro USB charging cord for recharging, so there's no need to worry about replacing the batteries there. Is your Wi-Fi out? You can also get a cellular backup with the Ring Protect Plus so your system can stay online during any outage. What happens when the alarm is triggered? You'll get an alert to your phone and you'll hear the system initiate. If you don't enter your code or disarm it in the app, the siren will trip. If you have monitoring, the company will try to call you to be sure you're okay. I will say the siren seems like it's been improved. It's substantially louder, and for me, even my neighbors were able to hear it. Overall, the Ring alarm system works exactly as advertised. It's easy to set up, easy to arm and disarm, and easy to keep tabs on what's happening around your house. More so when you get your other Ring components linked together with it. I also think there's a good balance of do-it-yourself monitoring or paying to access Ring's professional monitoring, and the monitoring doesn't seem that expensive at 10 bucks a month so you can do what's right for your family and for your budget any downsides well it was a bit frustrating trying to figure out how to add those older sensors to the new alarm but that's likely not going to be everyone's concern overall i think the ring alarm is a good system to keep your home and your family safe and secure the ring eight piece alarm starter kit sells for about 329 canadian dollars and you can get it from best buy if you want to read more, head over to blog.bestbuy.ca where we've posted a full write-up and you can ask us any questions you have about the alarm system or other ring components either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and give us a sub because it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me at Facebook.com slash TechGadgetsCanada.